Hi. I'm Bobby. I am a robot cat, have you heard of the Doherty Dozen? The delightfully cringe creator family of 12, has quite the collection of detractors, most notably Dad Challenge Podcast and, my favorite, Radiant Brit, while their coverage of the family is obsessive. Nothing quite prepared me for the arrival of Onora, what is that, you ask? Well, if Dad Challenge Podcast and Radiant Drone had a baby during a nuclear war, that, my dear viewers, would be Onora. <coughs> way over the fuck over your head. But, if you have a better way of getting Alicia to stop exploiting her kids, by all means, do it. I might back you on it, but until then, I'm going to need you to sit down and shut the fuck up. Now, it is not unusual for viewers to become YouTubers. Especially when they have strong opinions on a topic, this woman is not one of those people, this blueberry from hell started her time on the platform with videos similar to the clip you just watched. Her delivery is brash, and at times unhinged. Today, two clips where Alicia admits that her husband was driving students home at 11.30 at night, and another one where Josh is bringing a female student back to the house. <laughs> oh, mom, you're so funny. It was absolutely disgusting. And if I were the parents of the children that gave Dash gifts, I would never do it again. Red fucking flag. And that is disgusting. Alicia, pull those male dolls away from her. Do you have any idea the amount of things you're just keeping going with her? Watch this video, the more you see and the more pissed off you become. And the more pissed off you become, the more you make it your mission to take Alicia down. Congratulations, Alicia. You caught my attention on Saturday. My God, dear Jesus. <coughs> if you were unfamiliar with her origins, you are now. And recent weeks, she has doxxed other creators. Align herself with the biological mother of a foster pair of children in the Doherty Dozen home, shamed female creators, threatened others, and giggled while well her best mate Brandy talks about absolutely nothing. Never mind. Her unhinged behavior eventually seemed to bring her enough backlash, and she vowed to change her path moving forward, apologizing for her outbursts and even disconnecting herself from the by a mum of the foster children. Many speculated this would not last. And, as it were, they were right, the past 24 hours, Onoro is in yet another episode of Manic Community Posting. So far, there has been, no stream. However, things do not seem to be aligning with the wholesome Onora she would like us all to believe, she appears to be quite gutted over another channel refusing to panel up with her face to face. The channel cursed react is quite a lovely channel. The creator presents quality content and has a lovely voice. However, they do not choose to show their face on camera, as that is the right. As you can see in the screen grabs, some you may have to pause as I will only be reading portions, this sent her on one of her infamous tirades, you have done nothing but attack me. Videos you've made on me, bestie. But, the one thing you will never find me, is supporting racist people. You are a joke. Your channel is a joke. And and your friend is a joke. I have had many famous friends, but racist friends, not my cup of tea. The sad thing is dot you tried to hard too soon. LOL. Welcome to the jungle. Is there a bottom feeder's handbook that instructs you all to utilize your community tab as if it were Twitter? Wow. Cursed React is a joke. She is LBGQ+, but supports not another housewife, who is racist. White and you're right. Black and you're wrong. Not another housewife made fun of George Floyd while he died. And. Made fun of Gabby Petito. What a hero. Can you please be so kind as to spell racist correctly? Especially when in the mode of social justice warrior. My god. Hey not another housewife. Does everyone know that you are a cyst? 
Do people know that your husband wished death upon a teenage girl and wanted to ah her? Do people know that you and your husband take your Christian belief and make poor black people your pawn? Did everyone know that Cursed React supports not another house whore? Who is racist? Who supports child exploitation? Cursed React supports those who support child exploitation. You are either for Cursed React who supports child exploitation or you follow people who don't. The fucking choice is yours. But, she is white and she follows not another housewife WHO is married to a man that makes fun of black people. As we all can see, the bloated grape is having a bad day. She is doing the absolute most to have a go at the two creators. After vowing to turn over a new leaf, now, you may be wondering what not another housewife has to do with this? Well, she was one of the first to call out Onora. Marissa, being Marissa, fearlessly confronted the masked moron for her edgy and inappropriate content. Something the self-proclaimed empath, and beacon of maturity, coped with about as well as a toddler who needs a clean nappy. Listen, I don't even me. know, I don't even know who you are, but you wanted to come up here and start talking crap about me. So, uh, just of course I'm going to talk shit about someone who defends uh, someone who exploits their children. I don't understand <laughs> what type of pussy you're licking of Alicia's and what magic is in it and why you're obsessed with her, but I mean she exploits her fucking children and you're Stop muting her. me. You're going to mute me now? Yeah, because Pussy, first, you're of such all, a first of all, you came on my channel talking shit and then you say I'm talking shit about you. You karma bitch, you came here first and I respond. Uh-oh. Honora is drunk again and raging on her community dab. Gosh. It really bothers you that I have a positive rapport with Marissa and not you. Real talk. I don't know everything about you all including Marissa. I randomly wandered into this community in January of this year. If it's true that Marissa did those things, send me links. Prove it. Help me see your side, I've literally asked you, to have a conversation with me, instead you rage like a toddler. I mean, I love it. But also yikes, girl. Also, I was raised military. I married into another military family, lol. I also have a degree. You're not the first to call me white trash, I don't mind. Because I live my truth, I own my home. I have a successful career with accolades and awards. I have a loving partner, an amazing and gifted son who is sweet and polite and caring. And I have a close circle of friends in real life. I also got therapy for my trauma. Maybe you should seek out therapy in conjunction with your anger meds, bestie. It must be exhausting to be you. I'm in insta if you want to duke it out. But I was raised by a six foot four hulking Scotsman who I fought tooth and nail with for a decade. You, Josh, everyone else. Don't even make me flinch. Don't forget to stay hydrated, she is quite good with words. Although, her opponent appears to lacking in basic ability, never mind, I'd comment on your post, Onora but this is funnier. What am I to apologize for? For calling out DCP for doxing Marissa? And you for also doxing her? Where are their apologies? Also, where's your apology to her? And omnipotent mama? who your subs brigaded for no reason other than you dislike her. Or to Auntie Lauren, who you called a pedo last night for no reason. Or am I to apologize for defending Marissa for being doxxed because her husband is problematic and therefore her family deserves to be endangered? Because I explicitly said I thought it was gross what he did. Or am I to apologize for making snark videos about you the same way you do about Alicia? Or am I to apologize because you were genuinely welcoming to me in February and then ghosted me and I didn't chase after you like a desperate puppy? Or am I supposed to apologize because I asked you to define online child exploitation and help us understand your cause better? I don't mind doing this back and forth. I find it really entertaining. Let me know when you're sober and ready to actually have a grown-up conversation. I'm going to continue to hand your ass to you. You make it so easy lol. Marissa also replied, of course. 
I would anticipate many videos in the coming days. And, if you were seeking a shiny new rabbit hole to enter, this may be just the thing for you all. I shall keep an eye on this exciting redirect of the Onora channel. Cheers. <laughs>